Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play and we'll solve it together. We're given that f of x equals 3x squared plus 7x minus 20 and g of x equals x minus 2. State the quotient and remainder of f of x over g of x in the form q of x plus r of x over g of x. What does this mean? What this means is that uh, you have some quotient q of x, some remainder r of x, and the original function you're dividing by is uh, g of x, and you, you want to put your answer in that form. This is a polynomial long division problem, so I've got 3x squared plus 7x minus 20, and I'm dividing by g of x, so it's divided by x minus 2, and because we're dividing by a, bino a linear binomial, you could use synthetic division right here if you want to look that up. I'm not going to show it here, but it's synthetic division. That's an option for this problem right here. Um, but we're going to do polynomial long division. How do we do that? We first check our leading terms of both parts that we're dividing by. And I say, how many times does x go into 3x squared? I just compare those two. And the answer is 3x. If you're ever unsure, just take 3x squared, for example, and divide it by x. And that result would go right here. So if it's a trickier one, you can't just see it in your mind. Do the division yourself and find it. That's all you have to really think about, because now you take 3x and multiply it by x minus 2, which is 3x squared, right? 3x times x is 3x squared, minus 2 times 3x, so it's minus 6x. And then we subtract to see if we've reached our full goal of f of x, this full trinomial, or to find out what's left in this case. 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. And then 7x minus a negative 6x is 7x plus 6x, it's 13x. And now we say, again, how many times does the leading term x go into 13x? And that answer is 13. Right? Be why? Because 13x divided by x is 13. So that, that'll show us that. So we do 13 times x minus 2, and we get 13 times x, 13x, minus 2 times 13, minus 26. And I'm going to bring down this minus 20 here so I can subtract them out. Okay. 13x minus 13x is nothing, but negative 20 minus a negative 26 is negative 20 plus 26, so it's 6. At this point, whenever the degree, or uh, whenever you reach a constant in this case, or whenever the degree of this num this value, this term, is lower than the, this degree right here, you're done with your division. So now we have our quotient. Our quotient q of x is this piece right here. So we can say that our answer equals give myself more room, 3x plus 13. Then our remainder is this piece right here, 6, over g of x, which we were dividing by, over x minus 2. And this is our answer. We're done. All right, hope that helped.